CrazyMikeSaps.com with an iOS 6 tips and trick video showing you the new Do Not Disturb feature in the notification section in iOS 6 Beta 4. All right, first we're going to do a plug for our app. Yes, we do have an iPhone app. Check it out. It has our website, a couple of our YouTube channels. You can check out our Twitter feed, and there is some more, such as our iTunes podcast. Now, when I first checked into my springboard, you probably saw the little strips that go over the app saying new. That's what happens when you see an app downloaded for the first time with iOS 6. Also, there's a bunch of new functionality, but we're going to go into the notification section and show you the Do Not Disturb feature. Now, this functionality is long overdue in my opinion. When you go into notifications and Do Not Disturb, you'll see that it blocks out all alerts as well as phone calls when you have it on. You can also schedule it from a certain time period that's very easy so if you want it to be off at night or during a meeting whatever you can allow calls from no one everyone favorites and only from specific groups the other cool feature about this is maybe you want someone special to get through if it's an emergency so you can have repeated calls on or off and when a call comes in a second time within three minutes it won't be silenced if you have it on so you can toggle that on or off this is great for me when I'm cutting videos it just happens time and time again when I'm in a video I'll get a pop-up or I'll get a phone call and those people that do that make the video but not really so do not disturb that's coming out very soon with the completed version of iOS 6 now there's also a new widget the share widget which includes Twitter and Facebook I'll show you that in just a moment you can move around all of your notifications when you edit them another little feature here Facebook joins the crowd and is now separated from the settings with Twitter in their own little area. There's all sorts of settings for them. I'll be honest with you, it'll get stuck in your calendar. It jacked my calendar up, so be careful. Now, pulling down notifications, you can see tap to tweet, tap to post. When you tap to tweet, well, that's what's going to happen. Tap to post. You're going to have to be logged into both Twitter and Facebook for those to work. Again, that's the Do Not Disturb feature and some other little sneak peeks at iOS 6. Until next time, Crazy Mike, saying see ya.